Hi, it's Bob Pike. I'm going to be presenting a case uh, to you now. So you can look at the x-rays as I look at them, look at the scan. The scan is the picture of the nervous system, so it's energy, not structure. The x-rays are structure, the scans are energy. This individual, I'll describe it as we go, and as you'll see, it's a process. And the process is about regaining function. Uh, this person uh, characterized their experience after 12 visits as uh, much more relaxed. Uh, this character is a, an honest skeptic, my favorite kind of person. And uh, in addition to being much more relaxed, he uh, described uh, a, a sense of well-being, quote unquote well-being, throughout his uh, body. So this is a process. Uh, looking forward to uh, his next scan. I'll report on that at that time. Uh, if you have any questions, it's my Facebook page. You can ask questions. Please do so. Uh, have a great week looking up towards Thanksgiving as we move through this uh, middle of October phase. Brief x-ray viewing here. The uh, healthy spine looks like the one on the left. You can see there's a curvature, a gentle curvature in a healthy spine. When the spine begins to be posturally distorted, like tax neck, you can see that that curvature that was present here is absent here. And that those changes, if they continue, result in changes in the discs. So what do you see here? This is a, a picture of a, of a neck from the side view. You can see that there is a curvature. But if you look more closely, look at the quality of the discs in this spine. You can see there are some normal discs. This one here is thin. This one here is almost gone. And you can see, you can see the arthritic changes, even though this person has a curve. So here's a person with a healthy curve who is experiencing all of these arthritic changes. And you can see that the arthritic changes aren't happening everywhere. So what's the, what's the, what's the reason for this? Obviously, it's an injury. Here is the initial muscle scan, which becomes much more intense. So as you can see, as the adjustments are uh, letting more energy into the body, the body is reflecting that as increased muscle activity. The muscle is in fact exercising. Here's the most important part of the human spinal system is the open mouth view. We get the mouth open there to get the teeth out of the way of the top two vertebra. You can barely see it here, but you know you can see that this area is the area we're looking at. And there is a misalignment here. In the second vertebra is rotated. That's rotated to the left. You can see how, that, how that's the tail. It's much closer to the left side, to the, to the right side in this vertebra, based on how the vertebra is lined up, than it is to the other side. So when you have a misalignment in the second vertebra, in a situation like this, and you can see the much bigger space to the right side than there is on the left side between the number one vertebra and the number two vertebra. When you have this problem, you have brainstem pressure. Brainstem pressure is not consistent with health. This person has a, this is a thermal scan. We do two types of scan. One measures muscles, the other measures heat. And this, this scan here, you can see in the lower area is perfect. Everything is balanced perfectly. In, in the upper spine, as it's obvious that there is severe, red is uh, the most severe level of heat, and the imbalance is obvious compared to the lower part of the same individual spine. Interesting to see here that after one month of care, this individual is experiencing the almost the exact same pattern, but it's on the opposite side. I call that oscillating. You can see the balance in the bottom is pretty good. Uh, the balance in the upper spine where the area uh, I, I alluded to the x-rays as indicating injury. Here you have a, a pattern of uh, where the care is causing a change. The adjustments this person is receiving is causing a change. And there is more work to do. The body still isn't balanced. And it is obviously oscillating to a different, a different side. The initial muscle scan looked like this. It's extremely busy. You can see there's very little white. The white area right here is the only area where normal muscle tone is showing up. There's no 
area where that's happening. It's one area up top, but most of it, as you can see, is energy being expended uh, with very little payback. It's inefficient. As the system is uh, adjusted over a period of a month, you can see that the second scan looks like this. So you can see, well, it's much more, much more white. There's a lot, a lot less muscle spasm in the body overall. So whole, all the core muscles are relaxing, except in the area where, as I mentioned earlier, there has been injury and the body is incapable of releasing that. One of my favorite charts. As you can see, there's uh, a lot of confusion around these words, English words, feeling versus function. Uh, as a specialist in the nervous system, you can see that here a nerve contains information for the organs, information for the muscles, and information on sensory activity, some of which is pain. Very little is about pain. Hi, I'm Bob Pike uh, at Pike Chiropractic. This is uh, my case report for the October the 7th. Have a great day. Stay healthy. Be well.